In this video, we are going to talk about three special kinds of topologies, namely, discrete topology, indiscrete topology, and cofinite topology. So let's get started. First, let us get into discrete topology, let D denote the class of all subsets of X. Then D satisfies all the axioms for a topology on X, this topology is called the discrete topology. And, X together with its discrete topology, is called a discrete topological space. Now look at an example. Let, X be a non-empty set, consisting of elements namely, A, B, and C. Now try to recall from high school set theory, where we were all introduced about power set, that is the set whose elements are all possible subsets of the underlying set. And actually this is the idea of discrete topology. Notice. Here all possible subsets of X are. X itself. The empty set phi. The singleton sets. A, B, C, and the two element sets. A, B, B, C, and A, C. Thus by definition. The class of all these subsets form a discrete topology on X. Okay, now let's see in discrete topological space. The class consisting of X and the empty set phi alone, is itself a topology on X. It is called the indiscrete topology, and X together with its indiscrete topology, is called an indiscrete topological space. Here is an important thing to note that, a discrete topological space is the largest topological space defined on a set. While an indiscrete topological space is the smallest topological space defined on a set. Now let's move into the most important part of the video, that is cofinite topology. Well, this is very important. Formally, let tau denote the class of all subsets of X, whose complement are finite together with the empty set phi. This class tau is a topology on X. Called the cofinite topology, or T1 topology on X. Now, this is very obvious if you try to match it with its name, that is co, which stands for complement, and finite, which stands for finite set. That is those sets whose complement are finite. And symbolically, tau consists of all such sets G, such that X minus G is finite. That is the complement of G is finite. Now the idea of cofinite topology seems to be very ambiguous to most of the students in the very beginning. So, to make this clear, let us see some examples. Here I have taken the set X to be the set of all natural numbers n. Now let G1 be the set. n plus 1. Where n ranges from 1 to infinity. That is G1 consists of the elements 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Now the complement of G1 is X minus G1. That is n minus g1, which is the singleton set 1. And obviously this is finite. Hence g1 belongs to the cofinite topology. Well, now let us take another set to get an example of a non cofinite set. Let g2 be the set, 2n, where again n ranges from 1 to infinity. That is the set g2 consists of all even positive integers. Now as we can see, the complement of g2 is the set, 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on. That is the set of all odd positive integers, which is not finite. So G2 does not belong to cofinite topology. Okay, now since we have seen the definition of cofinite topology, now we will prove that it is indeed a topology. That is, we will prove if tau denotes the class of all subsets of X whose complements are finite, together with the empty set phi. Then tau is a topology on X. We'll prove it in the next video.